I'm super duper excited to announce this vlog is basically going to be about me working with Athleta, um, a super huge company that's just about women empowerment. So I'm moderating an event July 11th at 6 p.m. in their downtown Oak Street store in Chicago <sighs> with the two time Olympian Asia Evans and also a fellow alumni. So I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been had this in the works for a second. I'm hyped. When this video comes out, it'll already happen. But I'm basically vlogging the process of just working with the big company. It's my first in-person interview. So, um, first things first, today I'm going to go get outfitted so I can get, they're going to put some outfits out for me, figure out what I can wear um, at the event. And so, yeah, I'm just taking y'all on the way. So I'm super excited, man. This is my first time in the athletic store. So I'm hyped. So let's get it. Um, I just cut the air on. Uh, woo, it's hot. It's hot. So y'all know, you gotta get situated when you first get in the car. You gotta put in the address of the place. You gotta get your music going, your phone charging. So this is at their Athleta Oak Street location in Chicago. So for us, that's downtown. So right now I'm leaving out at 110 cause um, it's probably gonna be traffic. And on top of that, um, there's no parks downtown. So I gotta go find some parks um, and get a park. So, putting it in the GPS right now. It says it's gonna take me about, ooh, let it focus. Okay, 26 minutes to get there. I'm gonna get there probably about 137 and then gotta find a park. So, I'm huge on punctuality, super huge on being on time. So, I know y'all probably like she's early, but that's just my thing. I gotta be early. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna get started driving and I'm out. We gotta pay to park. Y'all see that? One of my least favorite things about living in Chicago. You gotta pay to park everywhere. So I'm gonna go to a box down here and we're gonna pay. I think I'm gonna probably get it for about an hour because I don't think I'm gonna be here that long. I get to pick out a top and a bottom and then I have some athletic gift cards that I got just from the partnership. So I'm gonna use those. Too. Oh, I hate Chicago. I think I'm gonna choose my time. I think I'm gonna do one hour. No, not four minutes. How much is this? I don't even know. Four fifty. Confirm and pay. Then they give you a ticket. Um, print. I'm done. gonna go with shorts but I'm gonna go with some pants I really love this color but they don't have the pants to that bra in here so I think I might go with this we'll see okay I'm gonna try on a couple of things and really just see what I like and see what we go with but the hospitality here is amazing everybody's super sweet super nice um, I love the store super huge great feel super clean so I'm just excited, man. I'm super, I'm super excited. So I'm gonna show y'all the outfits, and then I'm gonna just show y'all the different ones when I'm in the fitting room. Try it on. Let me see. I don't know. 
We'll figure it out okay. as far as the bra goes. Perfect. What you doing? I'm vlogging for you too. <laughs> Introduce yourself. This is Shelly. Hi, I'm Shelly. <laughs> this is the stylist at the store, Athleta. She's been taking oh, care of me. Baby. I appreciate you. We're going to get it together. Go <laughs> on in there and get dressed. <laughs> so, I'm about to try on the Allison Felix line. I'm hyped, y'all, because I think it's good quality. This is amazing. Like, I've never been in workout clothes that are this comfortable. Like, being honest, not sponsored by Athleta. This is my sponsor by them. Be 100. This is, um, this is dope. Seriously. Uh, so, yeah. I think I'm going to go with this for the event. But I'm going to shop around some more. Get a couple more pieces because I have gift cards. So, we'll see. But this is amazing. Yes. It's amazing. Let's see. It's, um, Salutation Stats Pocket 2 Capri. So, that's what I'm wearing. Uh, it's amazing. Compression, stretchable. Yes. A couple more things. This is also a part of the Allison Felix Athleta. And then I think I'm going to go with a small. I really like this shirt. And you can top that with like one of her shorts or whatever. I really like her collection. So it's kind of what I'm going to stick with. Um, probably go with these shorts right here. That'll do it. If you didn't know, you can book your appointment here with Shelly. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, Athleta a little pricey though. Let me see, we gotta zoom in a little bit. But these pants are $98. I'ma step away. <laughs> That's a lot of money, wow. But I mean, the quality is worth it. I tried it on, it's really, really good y'all. So this is the upstairs part. Um, I'm looking for a jacket. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking around just to see like the quality. So, this is the Athleta Girl section for the kids. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just really looking around, trying to see what they got, what I like, and honestly, what I can get. The plants. At first, they didn't have the Allison Felix um, pants. They thought they didn't, but they do. So, instead of wearing these plain ones, I'm going to wear the exact legging that's supposed to go with it. This is an extra small on me for anybody who... Wants to buy some Athleta. I'm 5'3", and I'm like 138. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I don't know exactly, but they fit absolutely amazing. You know, the quality is amazing. You can stretch in them. Best workout clothes I've been in. So, I mean, hey, get with Athleta, okay? Because I am. We're at checkout. Okay, then. Hello. <laughs> we got Marissa taking yes, care of me. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's a little camera shy right now, but she's gonna be at the event. Um, she's been taking care of me today, so thank you. This is what I'm wearing, Alice and Felix, and then this is what I'm just getting, uh, extra. So yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. No, this is good. I'm back in the car. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to move forward with the vlog, but I think I'm going to just do it the day of. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay tuned. This event is going to be amazing. So I'll catch y'all the day of. So you can just see here. Um, I'm going to give y'all a taste of one of my favorite questions. Let me see. Hmm. Let's see. What's a good question I think I asked her? I said, um, speaking of inspiration, you inspire me and many of the athletes, uh, many of the ladies here. We're both from Chicago and can understand not being granted the opportunity to see people from our community f flourish and succeed. With that being said, how has that influenced your interest in giving back? And what does giving back to the next generation mean to you? <laughs> I think that's a good question. Um, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but 
I gotta stop this because I gotta hurry up and get ready. So I just want to check in with y'all. It's the day of. We're gonna keep moving through, but right now I'm gonna just finish up getting these questions. What's up, y'all? So we're leaving the house. Say hey, TT. Hey, everybody. This is her first appearance on a yes, YouTube. Yes, it is. And I love my knee. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom is back there. So he <laughs> so, so we're on our way. Um about to get in the car. I get in the back. Okay. We're about to get in the car. Oh, on that side, yeah. And be on our way there. So I'm excited. Super duper excited. Ma. Hi. How do you feel? I feel fabulous. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. You think I'm going to do well? She's going to do very well. <laughs> and then this one. This one, that's not how you answer. Uh, <laughs> you uh, already got introduced your, in the last your clip, auntie, though. Your favorite auntie. That's not how she's supposed to do, introduce me. And yes, my niece is going to do fabulous. She's going to do great. She's going to pronounce every, everything. <laughs> She's gonna be marvelous and spectacular. That's the biggest word I've heard on you. <laughs> oh, God. No, shut up. Got on my Alex and Felix collection. Um, yeah, we're ready. So I'm an hour early just to get prepared, get set up. I really don't know what to expect. I don't know to set up anything. So we're gonna just figure that out. And my auntie has never been to Athleta. No, I haven't. It's my first time. I'm excited. <laughs> but she likes what I have on, so hopefully she yes, buys for yes, them. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So basically, they're just setting up right now. The store doesn't close to about 6 p.m. technically, and the event starts at 6 p.m. So we kind of got to work our way around that. But we're here. Um, I'm hype. Uh, say hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just here. I'm just excited, man. I'm super excited. Tiffany's here, the Chicago marketing manager who provided me with this opportunity. So thank you, Tiffany, when you watch this. Y'all gonna see her in a second. Uh, so we're just in the store, man. We're hanging out. Um, I'm just excited. I look great, I think. Um, it turned out well. My mama got me the shoes that worked out well. So I'm just, I'm hyped. So I'll catch y'all um, when we get to the interview. Setting up the event here. Tiffany, the GOAT, the reason I'm here. So we're just basically getting it set up. Um, this is the second floor. Let's get a camera. Oh, say hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically gonna have me and Asia in the front and a little owl down and just occupying the space. So I'll show you guys when it's finished, but this is really what we're doing. Asia is here. Um, I'm so excited, y'all. I mean, an Olympian? I've been talking to an Olympian, period. So I'm hyped. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all come meet her. It's Liv here. Hey! Ooh, hey. hey. <laughs> Twin it, like, it's on camera. I'm Wait, hold on, we gotta show them. We gotta show them. Show them the You mirror. see us. <laughs> okay, the Allison Fields collection. It's fire. It yes. Is so what? Well. Show them. Oh my goodness. I love it. We Are got you the, excited? I got this blue kind of... I don't know what color this is. This some, I don't know. I think this is, what's this? Yeah. A little, I don't know. Mole, but I pinkish. Oh, yeah. Put it like that. Put it like that. Put it like that. Put it like okay, Shelly. So we got Asia here. I'm super excited, man. Yes. Shelly is an Olympian now with her gold medal. I sure am. <laughs> they said I get the gold for the. In the works for a couple of months, mm -hmm. and yes. look at God. Yes, that's all I got. <laughs> you surround yourself with great people, like just it just happens, right? Yes. It really does. Yes. So we are hype. I'm excited. <laughs> this Peace. is Asia's sister. You want to say hey? Yes, yes. my sister, my niece, Riri, yes. and then Riri. Hi. Riri, yes. Riri, tell them what you do. Um, I do hair sometimes. <laughs> yeah, she did uh, my hair. Riri did my hair. Did, Riri she did, did my hair. Yes, she did my hair. Silky. I need Riri to do my hair. So when Riri figure out how to braid, I'm here. Okay? 
Make sure to make sure to hire me. I charge fifty dollars. Oh, 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 and that's cheap. That's a steal. That's 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 hi everyone. It's Radia here. I'm gonna be vlogging for her. You know, we're at the athletic event. You see. <laughs> Here's my best friend Abby. Yes, Burke and Baddie. Period. <laughs> I was nervous earlier, uh -huh. but I'm excited now. Um, I got my questions. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. Okay. I feel official. Like, look at my chairs. Shut up my chair. Look at her chairs. Okay. I got a she got a microphone on. I got a microphone, though. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show them the fish. Show them the fish. Okay, what you got on? What you got on? What you got on? Yeah, Allison Felix collection. Okay, okay. I love set. You know what I'm saying? Abs. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Look at the shoes. <laughs> Oh, okay. We actually connected because she sent me a cold email on LinkedIn and she said that she was looking for sponsors for her podcast, um, You're Wrong Sir, which is a sports focused podcast. So if you haven't taken a listen to it, please subscribe today. Yes. Um, it's amazing. So I told her that we couldn't actually sponsor the podcast, but I just loved her vibe and I loved her hustle. So I told her if there were any opportunities that I had coming up, I would definitely reach out to her. And so Shelly connected with our guest today and I said, hey, do you want to moderate the event? And she, of course, jumped at the opportunity. She was all about it. She's worked so hard and I'm very proud of her. So please welcome Anaya Jones, our moderator. Aww. Okay, um, it's me now. <laughs> So, um, super grateful. Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate you guys. And I'm not the star of the hour. We got a super duper special individual. Um, so this person is a person, like she said, Shelly connected with earlier, an American Olympic medalist, um, an all-city champion at Morgan Park. And then most importantly, she graduated from their alum too. I'm not there yet. Uh, but U of I, where she was a Big Ten champion. So welcome, Olympian Asia Evans. <laughs> Sport, thinking that my Olympic journey had come to a close. But the lessons I learned stepping away from sport brought me back with greater passion and most importantly purpose. The journey is yours. You can always change the story you're telling yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's super powerful, right? And just continuing to push forward, but you decided to retire. Talk about that process of just mentally coming to that point and then how do you push forward as an athlete not being able to do that anymore and kind of transition yourself mentally? Yeah, that's awesome. And this is my first time in a live uh, event, like in-person event. So I just want to thank you guys for sharing this space and thank you for of these course. amazing questions because it's it, this, these are the type of questions that really make me as an Olympian and as, as the woman I am. Um, because when I retired from sport, I didn't really announce it. It was kind of like a decision I made for myself because I felt like Oftentimes, you may have heard of like imposter syndrome, right? So much of my life had been built around, my adult career had been built around this Olympic uh, figure, this Olympic vibe. And so when you remove that, it's like, okay, what else am I? What else do I bring to the table? How do these skills transfer into the next? And so for me, I needed to retire to trust myself and know that um, it's okay to just try things. Like I tried other career paths. I um, learned a lot that brought me back. And now like my nonprofit organization, we're doing a lot of work through that. I've done, I'm doing more work with speaking engagements, courses, a lot of things that I wasn't doing before. Yeah. I had the time to step away and learn and so now that I've come back to bobsled, I feel like that it's a greater purpose and passion behind it. And I'm enjoying it. It's so <laughs> fun like to be here and sitting with you and to be able to share my story and to hopefully inspire someone. Like that's the way I feel like I can give back and create a legacy because, um, you know, if sometimes you got to see it to believe it and i think that um when i go speak to these kids especially like a lot of chicago public school kids i was a chicago public school kid um it's hard to to aspire for more when you can't see it you can't feel it yes. you can't touch it and know it's real so when i go in there and i talk to them and tell them where i'm from those same seats i lived on the same block um, and put my medal around their neck and they see that this real see that it's possible to travel around the world oh my goodness until i started doing sports i've never been 
out of the country, let alone to all these different states. And I was going for free. I'm like, oh, wait, I get to travel <laughs> for free if I went. Okay. So, like, it just gave me a new motivation, but it also it helped me grow so much. And so sometimes having that spark and just that inspiration to try it and, and keep going and keep doing things allows you to see more than you could have ever imagined. And so for me, sharing my medal is like the best part about it. If I, it, this wouldn't be fun for me if I just kept it in a case. Like it's not, no, I want to see people react. I want you to feel the weight of it and understand that this is a very real thing. Cause for me, it wasn't real until I put myself into those shoes and you have to believe it before you see it. I like that. I love that. You're just taking all my questions, too. I'm just like, okay, go ahead, because we're just having a good discussion, but you just talked about giving back, and we're both from Chicago. You went to Morgan Park. I went to You could go for it, and it's possible. I believe in you, and that should give you enough juice to believe in yourself, but it starts with you, and that's the only way it'll happen, so... Um, I'm rooting for everyone here in this building and I appreciate all of you coming and joining me too. Yes, thank you. So right now we're going to open it up just for um, a little Q&A for those who have some questions. Uh, so yeah, y'all can just ask away and we'll see and we'll bring the microphone to y'all or whatever. So does anybody have any questions right now? No? Y'all got questions. One question. <laughs> I'm pursuing the Olympics this year is because I made a decision that what I want for me is for me and I'm going to make it happen. And so um, whether it be having Riri at the Olympic Games um, in person or uh, showcasing my story through my documentary that I'm working on and being able to uh, you leverage my platform for my nonprofit and for a lot of the uh, philanthropic work that I do, um, that's why. But I have a bunch of reasons that I just, the one reason is because I know what I've meant to do and accomplish in this world, and it's up to me to stay true to that. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. We appreciate you for coming. Um, thank you, Asia, for being here with me. So we're going to take pictures, but before we do, I just want to encourage all of you, if you've never been here before, please look around. Feel the product is great, it's wonderful, it'll last you for years. If you want to buy something, do that, but also please sign up for our rewards. You get points for every dollar you spend, and it's great. Um, and then now we're going to take some pictures in front of the step and repeat. So first I want to get a picture of you two, okay. and then I invite everyone. Hey! We love you, Anaya! Good job. Congratulations. You did amazing. We're done. Super duper successful event, y'all. My friends came out and put a smile on my face and supported me. Um, so I'm so excited. It went amazing. Got some amazing reviews. Got Asia's number. She's going to be on the podcast. So period. just that, look, period. <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, I'm so excited, so blessed, so grateful for the opportunity. So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. What's good, y'all? Um, Man, it's July 13th today, okay? I know I ended the video. I thought I was going to end the video when I was leaving outside the Athleta store. But I've had two days to reflect since the event. And I really just wanted to just talk about what was it like for me? Like, what was that experience like for me? How did I think I did? Like, all of those things. And, of course, I can make another video that's just, like, a story time on how the opportunity came about, etc. But I just wanted to do, like, a two-day after recap of the event like how am I feeling so um man I'm so grateful like it was like pinch me right um after I left you know everybody was there I got people on my Instagram tagging me you know adding me and my support system my friends show up that I didn't even know were gonna come which was just amazing it just made my heart smile so shout out to all my friends no no Kaylin Jayla Kaya um Oh my God, so many people. Jada, I'm forgetting people. Tyler, I don't want to forget anybody. But it was just a lot of people who came up um, to just support me. And I'm just so grateful for y'all. If y'all are listening to this, y'all made my day. Um, I thought I was going to be nervous with people I knew there. But the satisfaction of finishing and seeing the people who are closest to you being there for you, supporting you, cheering you on is like a feeling like no other. So I'm so grateful. Um, but just an evaluation, like during the event, so we're sitting in chairs, right? I saw me sitting in the chairs and you know, I got to First of all, I have never had a live in-person event. Okay. This is my first live in-person event. So I'm nervous. Um, 
I ain't never been interviewed nobody, interview nobody holding a microphone before. So this was just all new to me. I had no practice. So just super raw. Um, I think coming in raw, I did good. Me as a critic, though, I'm like, ah, nah, you could have did better. I'm like, you could have did better. Um, so I was sitting up there. I'm, I'm nervous, y'all. I got the cards in my hand. I'm talking, right? And I'm asking her questions. We start off. Now, Asia loved her as a great individual. But you know how you interviewing somebody and like you got questions lined up and then they answer like five questions in the first question. <laughs> That's what happened to me. I'm like, I got to do this for 45 minutes. Like, Asia, no, don't answer them all. Like, oh my gosh. So I was like, okay, I got to improv. Like, I got to keep just building upon what she's saying, make up my own questions. So some of those questions I did kind of bring up on the spot because she had answered a decent amount of the ones I already had. Um, but I don't think people could tell, right? And so my legs, I'm nervous. Like, I'm nervous, okay? But I'm trying to play it off. I'm just leaning. I'm like, yeah, Asia, woo, woo, woo. I am nervous because in my head, um, I felt like my nerves made me a little uptight. I felt like I could, if I was just more <sighs> lax, more me, you know, um, it would have been 10 times better. But on the outside looking in, when I asked everybody, I even asked the lady from Athleta and all of those people, and I asked them for their honest opinion and honest feedback, and everybody was like, if we had feedback, we would give it to you. Like, it was amazing. Um, and I don't know if... You know, I just, I think I just hold myself to such high standards and I'm my biggest critic. So I was just like, you could have gave it more. Like you could have wowed them even more than they were wowed, right? Uh, but I think the lesson out of that is to always be present in your moments and grateful. Because what if I could have done was dwell on how, what I felt like I wasn't doing good enough and chickened out or got nervous and choked up or something like that. But to continue to persevere and push through, um, got to applaud myself, right? Um, yeah, so everybody said I did really good, but I was super nervous, y'all. And uh, it was just a new experience. Kudos to all of those individuals who are put in front of a live audience and have to interview people because it's different than just being in front of a camera when nobody's looking. It's totally different. Like, you actually have people right in front of you um so all of those people who do in-person interviews people who do live tv shows like y'all killing it man it was even hard for me too like i'm sitting sideways i'm sitting like this but it's also hard because it's like dang i'm really having a conversation with her but i really still got to look at the audience even when i'm not asking questions and then when she's answering questions she's looking at me but she still got to try to look at the audience it was just like whoa like in my mind you know, she had amazing responses. In my mind, it was like, wow, this is no joke. Like, this is not as sweet as people think it is. This is not one of those situations where if you have no experience interviewing anybody, you could just go up there and just be like, yeah, I got this. No, you don't, okay? Because I don't even feel like I had it for real. But everybody said I did. But, you know, me, I just feel like I could have done 10 times better. So really now, um, just want to continue to build that relationship with Athleta. I'm so excited because after the event, Tiffany, uh, who's the person, who's a Chicago area marketing manager for Athleta, who just get, basically, I built the connection when we did this. She was just like, you did amazing and we got many more to come. And so I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Okay. Because I'm so excited. This is, I, I truly believe in a company. I love the company. I love the company, y'all. The clothes are amazing, seriously. And so for me to just have the opportunity to continue to build with them, um, to continue to host events with them and just get bigger and better, what more can you ask for, you know? So I'm just excited. I don't know what opportunity is going to present itself next with this company, but I want to build. I want to build. So anybody from Athleta, if you're watching this, I want to build with y'all. Um, I truly, truly do believe in the mission and the quality of the clothes are chef's kiss okay and uh so yeah like it was just a unique experience you know it was challenging it was outside of my comfort zone you know i'm usually sitting right here behind the camera talking to y'all i'm usually on zoom interviewing somebody with a microphone and i can be more just chill with me i'm in my room i'm chilling and now i'm in a live front of a live like people are here like they're they can be like mm, if i ask a bad question you know and so it was just challenging but it was fun it was fun and after the event i was just like i like wow it just felt like it went by so fast and 
I was out to eat with my friends, and I told one of my friends, I'm like, wow. I couldn't stop saying, like, wow. Like, it just went by so quickly. Like, a moment I've been hyped about, woo, woo, woo. And it's crazy how you prepare for something. Preparation is the longest part. But it's like the thing you prepare for the most goes by so quickly. And you got to really be present in the moment. And so, I miss it already. Like, I miss it. I'm like, dang, I should have maybe held her Olympic medal longer. <laughs> or maybe I should have took even more pictures with Asia. Uh, or maybe, I don't even know, you know, because it's just like, man, I wish I could just still be in that moment. Um, holding an Olympic medal. Like, the Olympic medal was heavy, y'all. It was so heavy. I was like, wow like this is real like okay and it was just amazing she was amazing you know i really didn't know what to say now i just really wanted to end the video with just just kind of a personal testimony of what i did um for me to improve i think moving forward i gotta learn how to better know what to do with a microphone in your hand like do you put the microphone down do you keep it up when the person's talking to your dad answering your question those like small things that you wouldn't even think would be relevant and it was stuff in my head like while i'm doing the interview i'm like dang do i keep the microphone no that's weird do I put it I, like in my head during the whole interview this is what i'm thinking uh it was that it was how do you cater to the audience and cater to that person by still keeping everybody making everybody feel involved it was just um how do you keep your nerves under control? How do you learn how to be completely 100% yourself and authentic and not so robotic or too formal, even in front of people you don't know or even in front of people who may be critiquing you or even in front of people who a next partnership with them is dependent upon how they see how you perform right now. You know, the general manager at Athleta was there. The stylist who's worked with Michelle Obama was there. Chicago marketing manager was there. Like, there were eyes on me. And... I was like, I got impressed, right? Um, but at the end of the day, you just have to, I think the key for me is realizing you made an impression when they decided to sign you up for this, right? Because the impression was that I have amazing personality or the impression was that I'm good at what I do. So continue to just authentically 100% be you and don't be formal, don't be too robotic. Uh, so it was, it was like, wow, y'all, I just met an Olympian. She's from my neighborhood. It's like, not my neighborhood. She's from the South Side. I'm from the West Side. But she's from Chicago. Um, like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Uh, that's, like, I just, I'm grateful. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, pinch me. Like, wow, I just met an Olympian. I got to interview her on behalf of a company who's competing with Nike right now. Losing clients to Nike. Like, What? You know, and then on top of that, I got to hold an Olympic medal. I got to hold the one that she got. When am I ever going to probably have the opportunity to hold an Olympic medal again? I don't know. And so to have that opportunity, we got a photographer there, got content, got this video. I'm just like, wow, you know, and so I love making these videos, too, just to show you guys what it takes to be a part of this and just to be transparent for all of those who want to dive into the sports industry. You are more than capable, okay? You are, I, I, I didn't even know, I didn't think the Athleta would respond to me. I reached out on, on, in, on behalf of a sponsorship for the podcast and came out holding an Olympic medal. What? You know? And so you just never know what doors God are going to open for you. And you never know when he says no to one, what other one is going to open. Um, man, like for everybody who's been following me along this journey, who's supporting me, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate y'all because I got this based on a podcast. And without people's support and encouragement and listening and telling me that it's good, who knows if I would have quit. And then I wouldn't have had this opportunity. So just an encouragement to those who are in broadcast and journalism. Shout out to y'all. Y'all go it. Okay, that's not my major. And so I'm venturing into it raw and just self-taught. And so I just really see the discipline and the skill that it takes. It's no joke. But I just appreciated the opportunity. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, y'all know I got so much more content coming. And I'll catch y'all on the next Athleta event or the next podcast video or the next day in the life or whatever venture I'm going into. Um, yeah, I appreciate y'all. I talked a lot. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. But I'll catch y'all next time, right? Y'all.